it's Whitney Nasley, and I'm here with Anna Whitworth from United Capital Lending. Uh, we've got a, another mortgage tip for you today. Um, Anna, what is it that you want to let everybody know? Basically, I get a lot of calls, and you know, things happen in life. You go to the doctor, uh, you have a baby, and you have like five bills that are the same amount, and you're like, holy crap, where did this come from? So you, you only pay one. Well, say you really were responsible for the other four, even though they were 25 bucks. Well, this happened maybe four years ago. When I take a look at your credit, you're like, I have a tons of medical bills and I've been trying to get them taken care of on my own. And I'm like, just stop. Stop everything. That, don't quit. Just let me look at it. Just stop. Just stop. Let me look at it because sometimes, really, we don't look at medical collections like you have to pay them off. But sometimes you could pay them off and it would actually increase your score. There's certain tips of the trade and I'm not going to go into all that, but I can, can, I can kind of guide you into what you need to pay off and what you don't need to pay off. Because paying off some will help you more than paying off others and I don't know which ones will help me, but you can tell me which I ones will help. I can tell you which ones will help you and if it's not going to help you, there's no point in paying them. I mean, there's no <laughs> point in paying, you, paying them off. It could mm. actually hurt your score. Okay. If they're too old and you start paying them off, then it's going to renew them like they just happen to, you know, they're going to update your credit report. So give Anna a call <laughs> if you have any questions about what you should or should not pay off.